You're watching Take Two. Welcome back. It is 812. Later today at the state capitol, lawmakers will hold a first hearing on a measure that would give the state health director, instead of just the governor, the power to declare a public health emergency. Yes, the House proposal would also establish a $5,000 fine for health rule violations and would make traveler screening mandatory during the emergency. Again, the first hearing is this morning. There's a link on our website where you can read more or submit a testimony. The proposal is just one of many lawmakers are working on during this shortened legislative session. Dallas Ontiveros is live at the state capitol with more on what they want to accomplish in just three weeks. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Chris. That's right, a lot of different topics to cover here at the state capitol today. But here joining us on take two, we have Representative Lisa Kitagawa to break down things for us. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on take two. We really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. So I want to ask you about this right here. What is the state doing for food security? That's a big topic right now with this coronavirus pandemic. And what is the state do, uh, is planning to do to feed the community during this tough time? Okay, great. Um, so what the community, uh, what the state is actually doing to help the community is part of the CARES funds. We have allocated $5 million to provide food resources to those in our community who are most in need. So we're partnering with the Hawaii Community Foundation on those funds to be able to distribute um, food resources to people in our community who may not have access to other food options. In addition, through the Department of Human, uh, Human Services, we've also started implementing the Pandemic EBT program. And this program is providing funds for um, eligible families who have children who get free or reduced lunch through Department of Education schools. They'll be getting food supplements uh, and funding as well. Okay, this all sounds great. And how soon can we see this happen as far as the plan goes? Okay, well for the e uh, PEBT card, that actually is being rolled out right now. So it'll be funding up to $360 for families. So if families already have an EBT card, they'll just get those funds loaded onto their card already. If they don't already have a card, they'll have one mailed to them in the name of their eldest child. And that should be rolling out um, very soon. It's already happening now. And I know we've seen these in the last few weeks, uh, food drives. Are we going to see more of them in our communities? Yes, we'll continue to see food drives in our communities. We're going to be looking at more targeted food drives. Instead of those larger ones that we've seen, we're going to start to go into individual communities so that we can be able to provide that direct resource to them. Representative Lisa uh, Kitagawa, thank you so much for joining us here on Take Two. But you're still hanging out with us here because you're going to speak about child care. Thank yes, you so much, Lisa. We appreciate it. Until then, reporting from the state capitol, Dallas Anaveros, Cage Win 2 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas. We'll break down the stories you need to know about today. That's next on.